In this video, we're going to take a YouTube video and transcribe it using Whisper, and then we're going to use ChatGPT to translate it into a different language. Let's dive in. When we got into Shipyard into our fleet builder, we want to start with downloading the audio from the YouTube video that we want to transcribe. So to do that, we're going to search for our YouTube blueprints, and you can see there's our download video. We're going to click that, which is going to create a vessel for us in our fleet builder. Uh, I'm going to name this Download YouTube Audio. Okay, and so for that, we need a video ID. So you're going to find that in the YouTube URL for the video. So you see, I'm just going to transcribe this uh, new Linkin Park uh, song here. Uh, so that video ID is what's going to be after that V equals for a YouTube video. Uh, so take that, take it back to Shipyard, paste that in there. Uh, we want we want it to be an audio file, the .webm, and then we will just keep it this YouTube.webm. So we're going to reference that file name in in our next um, in our next vessel. So we have so that's going to download that YouTube video for us. Um, so now we need to get our Whisper Blueprint to transcribe that. So Whisper, you can see we have a, a transcribe audio with API. Uh, so we're going to click that one uh, and pull it in. And so you can see for this one, we will need our API key for, uh, for OpenAI. So I'm going to paste my API key in there. Uh, our file to transcribe. So that's going to be that YouTube.webm file there. Um, so I can pop it, you know, paste it in there. Uh, we can just keep it this transcription.txt. Of course, if you're doing this, uh, for something you're going to store in a cloud in a cloud bucket or something like that, you'll probably need to name that something more descriptive. But we'll keep it there. Uh, and then for language, we're going to keep this English. So important to note that language there is just telling Whisper what language that the, uh, the audio is going to be in. It's not actually telling it what language to transcribe it to, because um, Whisper only has the option to transcribe to English, which is why we're doing this video to uh, translate using uh, ChatGPT. Uh, so let's name this. So transcribe audio with Whisper. Okay, so we have that. So I can connect those together now. So now it's saying if the YouTube audio is successfully downloaded, we will transcribe it with Whisper. Um, and so now we have this transcription.txt file that we can then translate into a different language using ChatGPT. So we have ChatGPT, and here's our translated text file. So I'm going to click that, which is going to create that vessel for us in the fleet builder as well. Uh, so we're going to translate using ChatGPT. Uh, again, we're going to need our API key uh, since we're using the ChatGPT API. Uh, that text file to translate is going to be that file that was created here, so transcription.txt. So I can copy and paste that in there. Uh, so the language, um, so you're welcome to type in Spanish, French, German, anything like that, but it, it does want it in this ISO 639-1 uh, code here. Uh, so kind of these two letters. Uh, so I'm going to take this video to Spanish. Uh, so if I scroll down here, we can see that Spanish is ES. Uh, so that's the field that needs to go into our language here. So ES. Uh, and then the translated file name, I'll just call this lyrics.txt. Okay, so this will be the translated lyrics to that Linkin Park song. Uh, and then so to then, you, to then get those lyrics for us, uh, we're going to email those to ourselves. Um, so I'm going to go back to our, uh, our, our, our blueprint library. Um, we're going to do our send message with file for the email. So I'm going to call this send lyrics. Um, and then I can use our credential management system to pull my email credentials in. Um, so pull those in there. I want to send this to myself with the subject lyrics, the message being um, here is your translated lyrics. Um, and that file name is going to be the file that was created here. So that would be the lyrics.txt. Uh, so I can copy that name. Uh, paste it in here for file name. Um, and so now we have this uh, this fleet completely set up here. So what this is doing, it's downloading the audio from YouTube. Um, and then we're going to trans transcribe it with a whisper. So it's going to get the English transcription of that song. Um, so once that's successful, we're then going to use ChatGPT to translate it into Spanish. Uh, and then we're going to send that transcription uh, to our email. So let's click Save and Finish here. So this is going to take us to a page telling us that the fleet has been created successfully. As you can see here, we can go ahead and click run your fleet. Um, so this is going to take us into our fleet log page here. Uh, so what we just did was we started an on-demand run inside of Shipyard. Um, so that anytime you click this run now button on the top right-hand corner of your screen, it's going to start an on-demand run and take you to this fleet log page to give you a real-time view of what's happening with this fleet run. Uh, there's two other ways uh, to start a fleet run inside of Shipyard. Um, so you can use the triggers tab up here on the top. So we'll go look at that and then come back to our fleet log after we get done looking at that. Um, so under triggers, you can see we have tr we have scheduling triggers so that you can uh, schedule hourly, daily, weekly, monthly if you wanted this to run on a regular basis. Uh, but what I think is more powerful here is we also have webhooks. 
Um, so this, you can programmatically kick this fleet off. Uh, and with our webhooks, we do have webhook. You can send parameters to the webhook as well. Um, so what that's gonna what that's gonna allow you to do with a with a blueprint, just like what we just or with a fleet like we just created, uh, you could set that YouTube video ID to be a variable. Um, and then you could send in, you know, you could you could kick this fleet off using webhook and then send a new YouTube video ID in through that webhook um, and actually, you know, change the YouTube video that's getting uh, transcribed and translated every single time versus just, it just being the same one. Uh, so that could be an interesting use case using our webhook parameters there. Um, so then going back to our logs here, you can see our fleet has kicked off. Um, so looking at that, you can see it's already been successful downloading the YouTube audio uh, from YouTube and saving it as the file inside of Shipyard. Um, so I can even click on that and, um, and it sh you can see the, the values that we set here. So there's that ID that came from the URL inside of YouTube. Um, we wanted it to be audio and then we named it this YouTube.webm there. Um, so you can see that's kind of the, the information that's generated uh, at runtime. So anytime you click inside of one of those bars, you're going to get the actual Python output from this run. Uh, so if there's an error or anything like that, that this is where it's going to show up for your fleet. So you can, error, you can uh, fix those errors. Um, so you can see the transcription uh, with Whisper has already kicked off and has already finished as well. Um, so at this point, we've downloaded the, the audio from YouTube and saved it as that file, that uh, that the, that YouTube.webm file. Um, so now we've also sent the audio to the Whisper API uh, and allowed it to transcribe it. So now we have the file uh, with the lyrics of that song. Um, and so now we'll, we'll see the next vessel kick off, which is the translation using ChatGPT. Um, which you can see right here. Uh, so you can see if it's that yellowish orange color, that means that it's currently running. If it turns red, it's obviously an error. Uh, and then green means it's finished successfully. Um, and so you can see this one's that yellowish orange. So it's currently running. So it's currently translating using ChatGPT. And you can see that that just finished as well. Um, so what you'll note is if you used our old Whisper uh, blueprints, uh, which was kind of running Whisper locally, um, but this, is, this actually is a much quicker process using their API. Uh, which obviously comes with the caveat of having to set up an account on OpenAI's website, uh, and then they charge you credits using their API. Um, so you do have that little bit of a trade-off there that um, you do have to pay to use the API. If you use it kind of long-term and use it a lot, you're, you're, you can set up a free account and uh, try it out, of course. But um, but um, but you know our old Whisper Blueprint did not use their API at all, but it did take a little bit more time to actually run that trans uh, that transcription. Um, so you can see now at this point the lyrics uh, have been sent to our email uh, that we can take that we can take a look at. So just going running through this uh, fleet one more time here. Uh, so we downloaded the YouTube audio. Uh, we transcribed the audio using Whisper into English. We then took that English transcription and tra and translated it into Spanish, and then e emailed that file to ourselves. So now we can look inside of our email, look at these lyrics here, uh, and you can see here is uh, the the song "Lost" by Linkin Park. In Spanish, so of course I used a I used a song for this. Uh, this process will work for any YouTube video or any video you bring in from Google Drive, uh, S3, uh, anywhere, any way that you can bring in a video, you can uh, you can you can transcribe it using Whisper and then translate it using ChatGPT. So in the comments below, feel free to leave us a comment with uh, where you'd like to bring a video in. So we, we currently have all the all the cloud storage providers uh, uh, built into Shipyard already as native connectors. Uh, but if you want to bring in a Zoom video or something like that, feel free to let us know in the comments. We'd love to build that out for you. If you have any questions about this solution or how you can use Shipyard in your organization, use the link in the description to set up a time to chat with our team of data experts. If you want to see more tutorials like this one, check out these related videos.